Dear nephew of mine, I would like to tell you a few things about myself and what I care about. Often when we get into discussions, things sort of go off on funny angles, so I want to take this opportunity just for you to listen to me and hear what's important to me. I'm 62 years old. I have no children, no wife, nothing, so my DNA ends with me. I have enough money in my 401k that I can maintain my current lifestyle without ever having to make any money again. So I have nothing and I need nothing, and yet I care about things. And the things that I care about are invariably people. And most of the things that I see in the world are really sad. And I listen to you sometimes and I'm thinking, why is he seeing such a different world than I am? I don't believe that you don't care about the same things that I care about. So that's why I'm recording this. I care, number one, about people. What I see for people and what I want for people is the opportunity to have a good life more than anything else, the opportunity to do things, the opportunity not to be oppressed, be it by a foreign country or by your own police force. Um, that's why I was part of Occupy. Because I always knew that there was a lot of corruption in government or uh, influence from rich people and corporations or, and there are a million different terms for it, they even call it shenanigans sometimes. But importantly what it comes down to is um, who has how much power. And in the United States, the 1%, the one-tenth of 1%, etc., have massive, massive, massive amounts of power. And we, the 99%, even though we are ostensibly, even though we are ostensibly a democratic republic, it doesn't work like that anymore. Right now, our government is run by our richest citizens for their own benefit and for our detriment. So, Let's take the obvious examples. So, uh, my grandfather uh, raised a family just fine on the... Blah, 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 my great-grandfather raised a family just fine as a regular cop. I, as a computer scientist, according to every measure we have, am four or five times more efficient than he was in the execution of productive activity. Because I have better tools, I have cars, I have computers and telephones and all this stuff. So I am far more productive than he was, but I do not have five times the wealth he has. How can that be? I obviously did the work, and of course that's true for everybody. Everybody is far, far more productive than they were way back when. Even McDonald's workers are incredibly productive. I mean, I worked at Disneyland. I know how we worked, and McDonald's is more efficient than we were. They get more income per worker hour than we did, and yet they get lower wages. A lot lower wages. What's going on? I could buy six gallons of gasoline for one hour of work at Disneyland. You can't do that today. And of course, that is an indication of what's happening. Basically, everything is getting sucked out at the top. and. Seriously, it's not a little bit. It's like everything. I work on the taxes. You know that. The tax breaks for the 1%, the tax breaks for the corporations add up to more than they pay in taxes. So they pay less than their ostensible taxes are entirely. So they get just half off on taxes. Boof, just like that. And the really good ones, the really rich ones, they don't pay anything. And that's insane. And yet we let it happen. Of course, when that happens, we cut government, cut services, things get harder for the regular people, taxes go up on the regular people. You know darn well that taxes, your payroll taxes, have gone way the heck up since 1960, despite the fact we are so much more efficient. And of course, what's going on is it's, it's getting siphoned out. If the 1% paid all of their taxes, 
we could hire every single person in this country and they would have a full-time job and they would be productive and they would they would not need any type of welfare. We could completely eliminate food stamps. We could completely eliminate welfare, etc., etc., just by hiring people to do stuff. In summary, you are my nephew. I care about you. I love you. I want you to have a beautiful life and do great things. And um, the way you do great things is to look at the world the way it is and see what you can do to make it better. And that's what I want for you. I love you, man. You take care.